another year, another season pass is available for Rainbow Six Siege. But are the benefits and rewards you're going to receive for paying real-world money for this pass going to be worth it? Well, today we're going to discuss everything you're going to be getting if you decide to purchase the Year 5 Season Pass for Rainbow Six Siege. The Season Pass for Rainbow Six Siege usually works pretty similarly throughout each year, and this year is no exception. There are a few changes, but the basic things, the bulk of the information, is pretty much the same. The first thing you're going to be getting is one year of VIP membership. Now, it says there that the VIP membership ends at January 31st, 2021, so by that time when your membership runs out, the new Season Pass will be active. With that VIP membership, you get access to all six of the Year 5 operators for free and seven days early. So whenever a new operation begins, you get instant access to these operators. You don't need to pay any Renown or R6 credits because you already paid real money for the uh, season pass. So for those first seven days of a new season, the only people that are going to be able to select these new operators are going to be people who purchased the season pass. After those seven days are up, anybody else could pick those operators if they purchase them with Renown or R6 credits. And I think this is probably one of the biggest benefits. That's what most people buy the season pass for. It's definitely why I do, because while, yes, you can grind the Renown uh, and purchase these operators without realistically spending anything, uh, I think this, the, the ease of access of, hey, I just paid this, this $25 one day and I get instant access to these operators when they come out, I, I much prefer that as opposed to having to grind and keep that renown, which some people get renown really quickly. They play the game nonstop. I myself have not been playing as much recently due to other games being out. So being able to play with these new operators instantly is a huge benefit. With these other VIP perks, you're going to get a 10% discount in the in-game shop. So, again, I mentioned it before, that's not something you see very often. When Call of Duty had their season passes, you didn't get any discount in their shop, so I like that Rainbow Six Siege does that. 10% yes isn't super significant, but it's better than nothing, and I'm quite happy with a 10% discount. Whether you buy something with R6 credits or Renown, it's just a nice added little bonus. You're going to get a 5% Renown boost. Something I've mentioned before is the 5% boost is kind of negligible at best. Yes, you're getting a little bit more Renown, but quite honestly, it's not a super large amount. But again, it's better than nothing. One of the biggest changes to the, the, the Season Pass is going to be that there is no longer R6 credits you're going to be getting if you purchase it. That's why I said this thing is only $25 as opposed to the 30 they usually are, and that's because you're not getting any R6 credits. But what you do get, kind of in lieu of that is you're going to get a 30% discount and 30% faster progression on battle passes. And due to the roadmap, it said that there's basically going to be one battle pass for each season, so that's going to be four battle passes. I'm not a huge fan of this benefit. I already paid $25 to get a season pass, and now they're going to want me to pay what is essentially going to be about $7 to get a battle pass each season. That's if you want the premium version. There's obviously going to be the free version of the battle pass. I'm not a huge fan of this. Because battle passes usually cost about 10 bucks, 30% discount, you're going to pay about 7 So even though I purchased the season pass, I'm still not going to necessarily get all the uh, content that the game will offer. Obviously, the battle pass and whatnot, those things are all going to be cosmetic items and maybe some boosters for renown. Nothing game-changing. But I still don't really like the fact that you only get a 30% discount. Uh, but I think the discount should be just be 100%. You should just get the premium battle pass for free each season if you purchase the season pass. I think that's a nice trade-off. Uh, some people don't like to purchase the season pass. Then they might want to purchase a battle pass. It's a little bit less money. But the people who already spend the yearly amount on the season pass might just feel a little, little bit neglected now that you still would have to purchase the battle pass while at a slight discount. You still do have to pay real money for them. You're going to get a 0.3% alpha pack boost. I've said it before and i said it again. The 0.3% is again negligible at best. I think it should be like at least half a percent. Because 0.3 really almost feels like nothing. Yes, it's a slight bonus. It's more than nothing. But 0.3, it just feels so insignificant. I'll say it every single time. 0.3%, yes, does more than nothing. It's still, again, negligible at best to me. You're going to get six different headgear in. Uniforms probably work in the same way the other season passes did, which is when you get those new operators for each season, you're going to get a headgear and a uniform for each of them. 
uh, when the season starts. So just another added little bonus, just something cosmetic, something small. You're going to get, as again with every single season pass, you're going to get an R6 charm and a weapon skin. The R6 charm is just the Rainbow Six logo with um, a hexagonal pattern in it this year. I'm not a huge fan of it. I never really run the R6 charms anyways, uh, but it's still there for those who purchase this. The weapon skin, I'm actually a pretty big fan of. I know when Damascus came out, I was like, yeah, it's a kind of a simple one, but I wasn't a huge fan. I didn't run it a lot. This one, it pretty much looks like a tiger pattern. It's white, and the tiger stripes would be, like, gold. It's a really nice-looking one. It's kind of simple, but I think it looks nice and sleek. I think it looks good, and it's uh, definitely a skin I'll be running a lot, even though I typically run diamond or black ice if I have that. After that, again, something new is you're going to get a full operator bundle. That's going to be the bite bundle for Jaeger. That's going to come with a uniform, a headgear, a weapon charm, and a weapon skin. And this is a really nice looking bundle. I'm a fan of this one. It's pretty, it's pretty dark. It's black with some white accents. And I think the uniform, headgear, and the weapon camo all look really nice. So there's something I'm definitely going to be excited to throw on my Jaeger. Um... The charm, again, not really big on charms. I typically use either ones for rank season or I use the one from the six invitational. But again, it's still there. So while, yes, the season pass is a little different from other years, the core base benefits are still there. Instead of the R6 credits, you're going to be getting that Jaeger bundle and you're going to be getting a 30% discount and faster progression on battle passes. Overall, for $25, I think this is worth it, at least for me. Again, I love the game of Siege. I haven't been playing as much recently, but I still love playing Siege, and I like supporting the developers. The game is pretty cheap now, so buying a season pass and paying an extra $25 a year just to kind of show my support and love for the game is definitely what I'm doing with this season pass. So I purchased the season pass because I like supporting the game, because I love Siege. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think the season pass is worth it? Or are you going to skip out and just try to grind out that renown and hopefully not put any more money into this game? Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!